Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another VTuber song reaction. As far as I can tell, this one is a cover. It is a song called I, 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 and it is by Marine and Kobo. I've heard a few songs from Marine already, but I've never heard Kobo sing. I have seen a few clips of Kobo in the past, so, like, I know the character there, but also never heard the singing voice come out of Kobo, so I think this will be a very interesting blend of, like, the little knowledge I do have of the VTuber scene. This one was just a random song that somebody requested a few videos ago and I was like you know what sure let's take a tackle at this one I've listened to a few of Risu's songs recently and it's like you know what I gotta get to other people as well there's so many VTubers out there especially ones who sing as well it's a big part of that community so I wanted to hear more people go and while I have heard Marine stuff Kobo being new is gonna be a nice introduction there so I guess without further ado let's go yeah. <laughs> Realized I forgot about the, uh, the lyrics part. <laughs> so far, their blend is really nice. Have a very similar timbre to their voice. Yeah, their voices work really well together. Like, if I didn't know better, I would think it's the same person, almost. Love the production, too. Vibing with the beat. I feel like there's going to be a breakdown in this song somewhere. <laughs> Great visual production, too. Not that I expect anything less out of a scale this large. I know how popular these two are. <laughs> hey, look, I said there's going to be a breakdown. Here it is. I mean, more of a burst, I guess. Kind of sounded like the chipettes there in that backing vocal. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never change Japan. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Leaning more into that Latin side. Love that. Ooh. I mean, like, this obviously has all that going for it, too, but I love that transition earlier. Ooh. Ooh. That was a really nice change. was really fun. I mean, again, I expect nothing less out of the production groups that put these together, but like, man, that was just a really good time. <laughs> I was going back through this video just now to kind of reinforce certain opinions I had on it. And of course, the spot that's highlighted with the most replays is the spot where Maureen has her ass in the camera. Of course it is. Like, Jesus Christ. That's something that while I know is like a characteristic thing for her character is like part of the reason I don't tend to like get into VTubers a lot of the time for many of them. That's just too much for me personally. 
I don't love that in characters. It's not my vibe. I'm not going to judge the whole video or anything on that. It's just something I wanted to point out that's just like, yep, they know who they're selling to. Uh, as far as the song goes, actually focusing on that, there's a lot to love about this. I actually think I might have been wrong about it being a cover. I think that was just the producer or arranger that was the name I was seeing and I was maybe mistranslating something in my own mind there. It's arranged by somebody named Gigi and I assume that that was an arrangement because they originally made the song like on their own but maybe they're just the ones who composed it for these two and there's just that producer credit there but again I probably just read that incorrectly. And as I mentioned a few times during this song I love all the Latin influence on this. This entire song is based in Latin rhythms and those are some of my personal favorite rhythms of all world music. It's just so much fun. It's so energetic. It's perfect for that high energy danciness. I mean like if you want to look at one of the obvious ones like Gloria Estefan brilliant musician, brilliant blend of that conga samba, stuff that has a little bit more modern dance to it, a lot more clubby, but also has plenty of that rich culture just shining right through it. I love how much there is in here. I also love the animation of the characters dancing. Actually had a lot of that influence too. I think that's really nice. They kind of blended the whole like idol aesthetic of the dance as well as having some characteristics of the samba in there and like that's neat, but also not really music related. I just love how musically flexible this song is. Like, there's so many spots in here that could be remixed in completely different ways, and they did plenty of them in the song itself, like that breakdown section near the end there where, like, they dropped all the other instruments out and they just had the rhythm, just the rhythm section for a few measures. That was really nice. It was a good change-up. Like, right down to having that ra da 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 like, right on the bass. I love that so much. Like, I am nerding out as a drummer. That had so much good recoil on it. That was so fantastic. What a great transition back in. That's a classic Latin transition. I was so hyped when that happened, but I had to like retain a little bit of that excitement for now. Now we're here. Now I can be as excited as I want. Love that so much. I was not expecting to hear specifically that thrown in, but with all the other influence on here, I was like, why wouldn't it be? Of course it makes sense. And it feels so good to tear everything out, leave it with just that bass, little necessity in the rhythm, and then just bring it back in full speed, full energy, and just carry it through to the end of the song. What a great choice there. The producer here, brilliant, brilliant producer. Everything was mixed really well too. Like with the voices and everything, nothing felt like it was standing too much on top of itself. Their voices too, like I was saying, blend so brilliantly well. They have a very similar timbre in their voice, a very similar range that they lay in. And while one is obviously a little bit more nasally than the other, you could even write that down to just what language they're comfortable singing in. But having them sing together at certain spots and like mixing it the way they did where they like panned it into the ears a little better. So you can hear both of them, but it's very wide as well. So you're not getting too much information too close to the head. That was a really good mixing choice. It just feels really modern, really clean. I love how tight this one was. Really, really, really fun song. But all in the same, I also challenge you to go back and listen to around 141 in this video where they had that vocal spot for Kobo. She definitely had a little bit of a Chipettes thing going on with how they did her voice there. And that's not a bad thing. It was just very, very chipmunked. But it works for her with how nasally she was already singing. It doesn't feel like it was that far off. It just made me kind of laugh because I'm so used to hearing that exclusively in the chipmunk stuff, not somebody else singing and having their normal voice be in that range. That's very odd, but also a fun characteristic to play with as a musician and why it worked out so well. I don't really know. They might have actually lifted that up a little bit because especially some of those harmonies on the top end of that collection felt a little bit higher than even she would be able to go, but maybe that was just all raw vocals layered on top of each other, but I have a feeling it was probably processed a little bit. But so far, I've had nothing but songs I've enjoyed from Marine. I should probably listen to other people knowing that I already like Marine's music, just like how I've been listening to Risu recently and just kind of experiencing other people's inspirations and their sound and what they have to bring to the table. I know there's a lot more I have to get to, like I said at the beginning, so I know there's plenty of other people. If you have a specific one, by all means, drop the song down below and I'll do my best. I tend to get to these once or so a week. That's kind of my average schedule. So if you're here for these and you want to see more of them, drop a specific one down below. I usually get to the one that has the most likes per video. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of them in the future, you know how to follow me and support me and all that. And I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.